Hi guys, back again with the promised Monitor Audio Silver unboxing. These are the Monitor Audio Silver 200s and they are in matte black again as well, same as the Golds that we had, the Gold 200s. Again, big shout out to Homation for bringing me this set to unbox and do a review on. Um, always my preferred supplier, they go out of their way to to do this kind of stuff for me whenever I need stuff. Um, top company. Okay, so let's get to it. Gonna try and do my best again to let you guys see as I take it out and and show you all the stuff that's in the box. And also, it's a bit more than just the unboxing. It's actually more of an overview, telling you everything about the speaker as well, what I like about it. Um, so a bit more than just your normal unboxing so okay firstly again monitor nice packaging i love that they do this um it makes carrying a breeze these aren't the heaviest but still some of the speakers are difficult to handle this allows you to do it by yourself so i'm just going to bring the box down so we can see what is in inside foam cover i have a foam cover hardboard cover for the top Monitor always, um, I said it before, their packaging is phenomenal. Um, what you would expect from a brand like this, I mean, they premium, premium brand. Um, all of their stuff is, is just done very nicely. At the top, owner manual, supplied Allen keys to do the plinths. Going to take this box off the top so I can show you what is on here so there you have the plinths what is nice uh, also the um, bunk plugs if you want to plug the ports if there's a bit of chuff I've never had to use them but they are there again nice that it's added in there so um, I love that the gold plinth trickled down into this um, that gold plinth is amazing. So some of that is trickled down into here. You can see where they did cut it down to get into the price of the silvers. Um, so a mistake I made on the gold is I said that there's no rubber foot, just a spike, but I was corrected. At the bottom, when you turn the spike off, it's a rubber foot. Very nice again. So yeah, they have gone back to the more traditional way there's the plinth four of them that get screwed into the bottom of the speaker we'll get there and here they supply you so that is the rubber foot and then you get the spikes that you can then put in and take them out so long i like spikes spike for me is very cool uh, there just screw it in there and then you can adjust your adjust your height i'm sure there's something that's got to go on top yes so there spiked foot monitor makes nice spikes eh? and this is sharp so even if it is on tiles i still like to use them and i would put a felted pad so there's a little pro tip put a felted pad underneath it just gives you a lot more pinpoint stability than the big rubber foot would so with that comes Ah, so this screws on the top. And now you can height adjust like so. I'm sure when it is where you want it, you can just, it's a dual, yeah, it's a dual mechanism. So you can lock it in. I'll bring it close to the camera now. So that screws and then this adjusts see that and then you can tighten tighten it in so you get the height you want and it doesn't move around very very nice and practical and also looks good um, the supply screws to put them to the bottom of the speaker okay so that's it for the plinth all four of them work exactly the same so i'm going to put that to the side i'll assemble them later for the demo 
Um, let's go further in the box. Grill. I'm not going to open the grill. These are sealed. Um, same as all the monitor grills. Magnetic. Just sticks on the front. I never use them. I don't know who does. I suppose if you have kids. But still, the monitor tweeter, you can't dent. So, just to tick a box. Never use. Okay. Let's do, let's do the roll game. Again, like I always say, guys, um, when you are unboxing your speakers, take this top piece, take all your plinths and stuff out, put them to the side, and use the box to roll. I see too many people trying to drag a speaker out of a box. You're just going to damage it. You're going to push in a driver, push in a tweeter. It's going to slip out of your hands. You're going to drop it. Expensive mistake. Roll. Always roll. So let's roll. Put that back on. Roll the box. Go. Easy as that. Slide it off. And you are golden. There's your speaker. Now, uh, let's just see if this should be... Okay, this is the foot. Let's start at the bottom again before we do the whole thing. I'm going to bring this closer. I'm going to angle my phone down slightly so we can get a better view of the speaker. So again, very nice binding posts, four-way binding posts. So you can do your highs and lows separately if you want, by wire or by amplifier. All the monitors work in this fashion because they are a very high-end company. Um, most guys will just do them straight. Some will do by wire because it looks cool. Um, by amplifying only works if you're doing two separate very strong amplifiers. Doing it off a receiver, I suppose there's, there's a little bit of gain, but you're still running off the same power supply. So to me, much of a muchness. You can much better use those channels driving another set of speakers. In any case, so that's the back. They have the flared ports. They always have very nice ports. Um, I always forget what this port is called. They, they've got a name for it. Um, I'll, drop a, I'll drop a little thingy on the screen um, for the name what that port is called. Uh, let's see, just, just the, oh, there's two. So this is a 2.5 way configuration. It's kind of the way a lot of guys are starting to go. So I'll go over the drivers now and what they do. Let's take the top off there. Let me still see. Take that off, take that off. And it's actually a very small speaker. If you compare this to the gold 200s, yeah, those golds are, you can see what you pay for. I'm going to love to hear if this fills the gap. I'm sure it will. It, it, it feels more premium than the bronze, which it should, should um, but also a long way off the gold. So they have their CCAM drivers, 25 more CCAM tweeter. Um, CCAM, ceramic coated aluminum, al aluminum magnesium drivers, five and a quarter mid and base, 2.5 way design, um, and then a five and a quarter base driver. So, uh, at the back, I love the way they, they mount their, their drivers. It, it actually mounts to the driver in front and it fastens to the back. Once again, pulling this whole construction to each other, um, making it more rigid, uh, stronger. Not that, not test. Listen to this. Monitors finishes and their build quality. Man, I take my hats off to these guys. And once again, to get a spray job looking like that. You don't know how much time and money that takes, eh? That is a lot. So I'm going to be very interested to see how these perform. They're much more than I thought. Now I would love actually to get the 300. Um, but this is going to give me an idea. This is the first silver, honestly, um, that I've 
that I've ever ever had in for a, a review so very interesting to see how that turns out so I will keep you guys updated on what it sounds I'm going to do a test again different amplifiers and this time I'm going to play them all different amplifiers do the peak do the rotel and do that small little den and I still have here and maybe you can hear with good headphones what that sounds like um, I think I covered all the bases. Let's just check the box, but that should be it. That is it, guys. That is the unboxing and the overview of these speakers. Um, something I did not mention. 8 ohm. So they are 8 ohm. So they are made to be driven by receivers and integrated to be more efficient. Um, we'll see. I haven't actually found the monitor speaker to be efficient. They all want power. They're power hungry. All Euro European speakers are power hungry. Um, always. But okay, guys. If you want to see more of this stuff, please like, subscribe. Um, thanks. Till next time. Cheers.